film stars Samuel L. Jackson and Anthony Mackie. It is a story about one of the first African-American bankers. These two men team up, but they have a white man be the face of what they're doing because of the time it was in and because of racism that existed. So Apple picked it up because it's a very educational, inspiring story. Well, now they learn Anthony Mackie's character what she's based on. The real-life son of him, who was involved in the film as a co-producer, has allegations of child molestation against him from his two half-sisters. They allege that back in the 70s, they lived in the same house and he molested them. Apple just found this out reportedly a week ago, that's what they say, and they immediately said, we're scrapping the premiere, we're going to look further into this, decide what we're going to do. Now, the film is supposed to be released December 6th, so that's very soon. It's going to be released in theaters before it launches on Apple TV Plus on the streaming service. This is a huge deal, not just financially for Apple, but also because of awards. Apple, it's their first film, they want to have award buzz and they want to be in there with Netflix and get Oscar nominations as well. So they learned about the allegations, uh, one of the women, came forth with her attorney and contacted Apple. Mm -hmm. Apple did not produce the film. They are releasing the film and Correct. may not now. Big picture wise, what kind of precedent does this set in that another studio or another film may face the same things where a character that the film is based on mm -hmm has a questionable past. You know, we have seen similar instances like this before. Now, part of what this woman is alleging, in addition to the sexual abuse, is that the film is inaccurate because the timeline that's reflected erases her and her sister and her mother, which she is saying they did that so that you don't have to look at what she says happened. Now, we've seen similar instances like this. You remember last year, one best picture, but Green Book, not any, you know, claims of sexual abuse, but there were claims that the family say there were inaccurate stories being told. That didn't end up getting pulled. But what this really reminds me of is, I don't know if you remember a few years ago, Nate Parker, his film, Birth of a Nation, it was the biggest sale to ever come out of Sundance at the time. Yes. He starred, directed, biggest breakout star was supposed to be nominated for all the awards then rape allegations from years ago from his past came out the film was still released but it totally bombed didn't get any award nomination so that controversy really loomed over it so then is this the within the me too era and you were one of the top reporters covering me too and some of these uh, new ways that we look at abuse and i shouldn't say new ways because that's not accurate new consequences mm -hmm. for people who carry out abuse. This film gets pulled, but Woody Allen's film is going. Right. And I think that is an excellent point that you bring up. I think, obviously, studio executives, first of all, they need to do their diligent work and do all the research. You know, as you said, this film was not produced by Apple. They bought it, so they weren't on the set with this person all the time. You know, maybe that's how they didn't know. But they really need to do their research. They need but they to do their sure. research. So these are, in this case, research-wise, okay, you didn't know his past or whatever, the allegations, but now you know the allegations. We know the allegations, again, against Woody Allen. Right. Help me understand. Right, and that's why that story continues to be discussed, because right. people have their opinions, and a lot of them are unsavory opinions. Yeah.